So I, I want to uh, I want to quickly quickly talk about space, right? In physics, the speed of light is considered to be the maximum velocity that something can travel in our universe. With the exception of some weird physical phenomena that may or may not violate this principle, it is considered to be unpassable and is used as a physical constant in Einstein's theory of general relativity. But suppose there was a way to communicate faster than the speed of light. I'll let Gavin take it from here. The speed of push is, speed of push. is only the speed of sound. So you can push it, but the other end wouldn't hit it until I years away. I could see that. Yeah. It's interesting, right? I'm an idiot. It's not how it works. It's not how it... Fuck. He's right. What am I even here for? Say you and your friend are standing next to each other, and one of you has a pole that is exactly one light year long, and the other has a laser pointer that can maintain a constant beam of over one light year. And at the end of this pole, there's a button, and pushing this button represents sending some kind of meaningful information. If you push this pole at the exact same time as your friend turns on the laser pointer, which would get there first? Now, you may be inclined to say that the pole would get there first. Obviously, it makes sense. The pole is already where it needs to be. The end of the pole is merely inches from the button, while the laser pointer still has to travel an entire light year. But the actual answer isn't that simple. As it turns out, the light would get there much faster than the pole would. How exactly does this happen? Well, it's because, as we all know, all objects are made of molecules. And these molecules aren't exactly touching. They're held together by various forms of bonding. So when you push on the end of the pole, the molecules have to compress and basically send a wave of motion throughout the pole until it reaches the end so that it can push the button. Now, how fast is this wave? As it turns out, it's actually the speed of sound throughout the medium. So whatever your pole is made out of, whatever the speed of sound is in that material is how fast the push would travel to the object. So let's say your pole is made out of fiberglass, for example. The speed of sound in fiberglass is 2,740 meters per second. At that distance, it would take the push over 109,000 years to reach the button, while obviously it would take light one year to reach the button. Now, I was so fascinated by this concept that I wanted to try it out for myself. So I decided to push the limits a little bit and knock out a quick experiment to demonstrate this concept in action. And to do that, I had to get a little slow-mo myself. Hello, the internet. I'm Wesley. And I'm Matt. And we've thrown together a makeshift rig to demonstrate the speed of push. So hopefully what this rig will show is I'm going to hit it at one end with a hammer, and Matt's going to be sitting on the other end with his face in front of a boxing glove. And um, it should demonstrate that it's not instant, and he will get punched in the face. Not at the exact same time as when I hit the end, but there will be a small delay, and hopefully We'll be able to see it with our slow-mo cameras. Um, it may be clear, it may not be clear. We'll find out, but you ready? To... Let's get punched for science. All right. was uh, interesting. We totally didn't lose the footage, and this is definitely not two months after we filmed that originally. Yeah, we but just changed real quick. Yep. So, how did how, how did it feel? Heard a good bit. Happy to do it for uh, for science and education. Right. So hopefully you'll be able to see it on the slow mo footage. And um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, subscribe for more. Um, follow on Twitter. Do all sorts of things. Um, Click here to see you subscribe. And we'll see you at some point in the future. Thank you. You push something. Uh, Gavin, you're pushing. pushing it three inches. I feel myself it's getting a light